This is MMA Weekly. This is episode 9. Um, we're going to start out with uh, my co-host here today, Chubbs. Yes, yes, Chubbs is my co-host. For all you guys that don't know Chubbs. But anyway, we're going to start out with the uh, Korean zombie Yair Rodriguez fight. For those of you who didn't see it, look it up on YouTube, of course, and uh, watch it. It's an amazing fight. Probably one of the best fights of the year. Uh, I do think the zombie was winning the fight. If not, it was real close. Um, it was. The uh, thing is, I got into a debate yesterday with a family member and his friend. And his friend, and uh, I, I see every point of it. It uh, Yair is a very good striker, and um, you know, my my thing is, did he really? Did he really see? the zombie coming in and throw the elbow, or was it out of defense as he was rolling out not to get hit by, by the punch. Um, me personally, I don't know. Um, I think, I think that they need to do it again if they want, and, uh, they, they both looked amazing. They really did. They, uh, Yair looked really well, really good after his loss to Frankie. I didn't know if he was as good as everybody made him out to be. Um, I think Frankie would have dominated both these guys, to be quite honest. Uh, the zombie looked amazing, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he didn't. Um, thanks, guys. It was a hell of a fight. It really was. Um, I still don't think that, uh, that Yair threw the, the elbow intentionally for the knockout. I think it was more of a uh, uh, defensive move not to get hit. But leave your comments below down here, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Um, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm right. Make me believe that it was Yair's intentions to knock the zombie out with that punch. Um, let me know. You know, uh, I'd like a good debate. I'd like, you know, for you guys to watch it to tell me what you guys think and who you think should be next for the zombie or Rodriguez. Tell me who you think. Um, let's move on with uh, Donald Cerrone and Mike Perry. Oh my, uh, Cowboy's back. Broke the record for, I believe, the most fights in UFC history, which is 28, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And I think it was the most finishes in UFC history, which would be, I think it was 11 or 12, maybe 14. Anyway, don't quote me, but I know he broke some records. Um, I thought it was great that he brought his kid in the octagon. Everything was cool with it. Um, he, he, he's been around forever. I mean, he's a fighter's fighter. You know, he takes fights on short notice. He, 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 he said that he knows who his next opponent is. Now, who do you guys think it's going to be? Me, personally, I think we're looking at more of a... Uh, uh, I think uh, Dustin Portier would be who they're going to put him in the ring with. But it could be just... It could be Gagney, too. Uh, uh, I'd like to see them both fight. I really like uh, Gagney, Gagney. He's a hell of a good fighter. I don't really want to see him and Cerrone go at it because I do like them both. Um, what do you think, Chubbs? Nothing. I guess Chubbs don't think shit. But I would like to see the uh, the, the, the uh, Nate Diaz Cerrone fight again. That'd be a nice fight to watch, but that ain't gonna happen. I think Nate's done. To be honest with you. Uh, and then I'm going to move on here to BJ, BJJ, some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This weekend was at, uh, it was a tournament, Cat, Cat, say, uh, Cat, anyway, it was, uh, Gordon Ryan was supposed to fight for their light heavyweight title, I believe it was, and, uh, everything made weight, and, uh, here's the thing, Gordon Ryan has to turn in blood work, because he was born with hepatitis C. He had it taken care of at 12 years old, so it means he does not have hepatitis C any longer. I mean, he's a carrier, I'm sure, uh, whatever the, the deal is with it, that's his personal business. I don't want to try and act like I know, plus I don't want to really mess with Gordon Ryan because I'm scared of him. He's the best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner in the world, keep that in mind, and he's American. No gi, of course. but. Uh, 
Yeah, he, he was pulled because he didn't turn in the proper pa that paperwork, and um, he didn't get the get the fight this weekend. I really wanted to see him or his brother either way. Nikki, uh, for those of you who don't know the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game, Nikki Ryan also is a 17, 16-year-old prodigy. He's amazing to watch. If you didn't get to watch him, check, check him out. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it's, it's, it's fun to watch if you're into that part of the game. Uh, a lot of people don't want to watch them roll around on the ground. They want to see the striking and the, more or less the kickboxing and shit like that. You know, uh, it is what it is. Like, uh, okay, now I'm going to move on. Tension, tense, tension, Casacola. Casacola. We all know I am with names, so. Eh. I did the best I could. Tension, Tenson, he, uh, he was the one who was supposed to fight Mayweather. I exactly know why Mayweather didn't want to take this fight, because this kid is a killer. Amazing. I looked him up on the internet, because I'm not going to lie and act like I knew who he was. I, I heard the uh, Karate Prodigy a few years back, and uh, I think I've seen a highlight of this young kid. Well, when I looked him up, I seen this highlight that I'd seen years prior, um, and he really, yeah, he's the real deal. Um, he does MMA. If he gets a ground game, it'd be, it'd be fun to watch him in the UFC. He's a little light. He'd have to gain some weight. I believe he's only like 135 pounds. And as you know, I do believe that right after the Dillashaw, um, Henry Cejudo fight, for those of you who don't know, they're fighting the super fight. Dillashaw's going for the 125 pound title, which is. Come on, man. I thought you were getting rid of the division. Make up my mind. Either, either get rid of the division, keep the division, but I'd still rather watch the men to 125. I mean, there's a few good women, 125 pounders. Uh, they're fighting each other. And, um, you know, Valentina Shlomanka and Joanna Champion, we call her that because we know I can't say her last name. Anybody that's ever watched any of my shows, they, they know that. Um, but we're going to see what, uh, what comes of that. Um, I can't wait for that fight. I'm excited for it. I really am. I, uh, I'm a big fan of both of them. And look, uh, I like women MMA. I really do. I really do. When they're MMA fighters, like, uh, Beck Rollins is a women champion in bare knuckle. She used to be an MMA fighter. She's a fighter's fighter. You know, it, 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 it's what it is. But when you, uh, when you get some of these women in there that, that, that just look bad, they really do. And, um, it, to be at the top of the game in MMA, I mean, I'm not a big Rose, Nema Gamunez, or Nema Gamunez, well, how the fuck you say her name, I, I don't like her. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Joanna won the last fight, I think she definitely did enough to win it. I think they, I think they had plans on taking Joanna's belt anyway for some reason, she... She did have a big head. Um, she needed a knockdown, but uh, what do you think, Chubbs? No, no. Ch Chubbs just loves everyone, so he don't want to see anybody get uh, anything taken from him. But uh, I do believe Joanna will be back. Um, I don't think I don't know if she can beat Valentina. I watched the kickboxing fight with her and Valentina already. And, it was all right, but Valentina, just, just it, it, she's just a bigger girl. She, uh, she's able to control more of the fight, I believe. I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to stand up. Valentina and her are pretty equal, I'd say. But when it gets into the clinch, which this is MMA, not kickboxing. When it gets into the clinch, Valentina's a stronger fighter, a stronger girl. And I think that's what she's going to do. She's going to kick and then get in there, knee, 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 elbows, stuff like that, um, we'll, uh, we'll see when that goes down, you know, um, we got a lot coming up, and, you know, this Anthony Lionheart Smith, he, he asked for a title shot, um, does he deserve it, yeah, 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 he does, deserves it a hell of a lot more than, we'll say, Calvin Gastelum in the middleweight division, um, that should have been Rockhold, Weidman, anybody but Gaston. Come on. He lost to Tyron Woodley, beats Michael Bisbing, who retired and came out of retirement just so he didn't go out on a loss. I mean, he looked like shit. 
and he got knocked out. So, I mean, he don't deserve no title shot. Um, the white, he's a good looking kid and, and, you know, Mexican American, he speaks the Spanish, so he's able to, you know, translate himself, you know, it, it is what it is, I know what they're up to, he speaks well, the UFC's not dumb, they're, they, they like to sell people that, they push people that they maybe shouldn't sometimes, um, let's see, we got, uh, the light heavyweight title with Anthony, uh, Lionheart Smith, that's, uh, DC, Jones, Gus, you know, if Anthony Johnson comes back, these are the elite people in this division, um, can he beat these guys? I don't know. I mean, he knocked out Shogun Hula like he was nothing. He looked really good. He really did. Um, he, I, I still, I'm still in amazement over that, that Shogun Hula fight. He, he just, it, Shogun Hula is not easy to knock out. I mean, he did what he, he really did. Um, you know, he's on this win streak. He's on a fired up win streak. So uh, maybe, maybe make him the holder and give him the, give him the winner. You know, give him this title shot. I mean, it is what it is. If, if, if the champion is John Jones or if uh, DC ends up fighting Jones for the title, Gus, whatever, um, I'd like to see Cormier Jones 3. No, I wouldn't. I like DC. I don't want to see him lose again. And I sure as hell don't want to see Jones lose. Um, it, it would just confuse the whole title picture. It really would. It, uh... You know, John Jones, it's, it, he is, in my opinion, the greatest of all time. He, he needs to uh, quit his shit. I mean, that's a, that's a given. He definitely needs to quit his shit. But he also needs to uh, step up and be a little bit of a role model if he wins his title back again. And uh, last time him and Gus fought, Gus, Gus was a younger fighter and... Uh, I think Jones caught this fight. I don't think Gus has the chin he used to have, and I think that's what's gonna happen. I think Jones is gonna catch him with that kick, and it's gonna be a wrap. And uh, if it ends up being DC Jones, then just, you know, Gus and Lynn, Lynn, uh, Lynn bleh, bleh, on the side waiting, being the alternate for the whatever in the next in line. Maybe he fights Anthony Lionheart Smith on the same card, and then that winner gets the next title shot. I mean, let's face it, Alexander Gustafson doesn't really deserve a title shot. I mean, he beat, uh, what the hell is his name? Chuck Liddell's prodigy guy, the Brazilian kid, uh, <laughs> Glover Tex 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 Terra. It, it, you know, this this guy's a middle tier fighter. He always has been. He's never really been a a big name or whatever. He just he just isn't. He looks like he's about 80 years old. But um, but I think we're gonna see the you know this, this is what I would do if I, if I was the uh, the UFC if I was the making the fights. I would, uh, because I don't think Brock's making that fight, <coughs> and if he does, maybe he will, maybe that's what this is all about, he wants to hold both titles, um, I think Brock has a chance against DC, but I also think DC is going to own him, uh, Brock isn't quite as strong when he can't take his, uh, super juice, so we'll, uh, we'll see, I'd like to see DC go out on that note, go out on a, uh, winning note on Brock, millions of dollars, whatever, right off into the sunset, Stipe gets his title back, you know, uh, I think if Brock doesn't show up, I think instead of him fighting Jones and worrying about money that he already is going to make a ton of and has a ton of, um, he needs to fight Stipe, he, you know, Stipe deserved the title, deserves his fucking rematch, he got caught, that's all it was, I mean, he wasn't doing bad, he, he really was doing, doing well, um, he got caught with a short right or whatever, short, short hook, caught him and put him down, I, I, uh, yeah, it, it, it was a good stoppage, it was, I mean, he was out, it, uh, but we'll see what happens, um, there's a lot, a lot coming up here in the MMA world, and I, I'm happy, I see this is the longest show I've ever had, um, 
hopefully uh, you guys will give me a like and some comments. It'd be nice. I'd appreciate it myself. Um, like I said, I'll do the show no matter what, whether anybody watches it. I like doing it. I think it's cool. And, uh, you know, I uh, got a new subscriber. He's related to me, but hey, what the hell, I'll take it. Um, but, like I said, give me some comments, guys. Tell me what you think of the show. Tell me how to fix the show down here. Hit like right there. Like. See? Like. It's that easy. Or thumbs down. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is, but at least if you give me a thumbs down, tell me why you gave me a thumbs down, so I don't want to give you a thumbs up, if you know what I mean. But, all joking aside, guys, as always, peace, God bless.